strawberries really taste. Mmm, strawberries. Anyway, recording start. I should probably put D and D on my shit so that people don't bother me. Okay. So, some here peeps. Here's what had happened. See what had happened was Jinx, you owe me a soda. I didn't finish it. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. No, 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 no! Had a series of small misunderstandings that were thankfully rectified. And we move forward with our lives. Now approaching. Is it a port in Zanzibar? No. Zanzibar, uh, no, is... also a port in port. Zanzibar. Jeez, how All could right. you get these things confused? Oh, I don't know, my god. Look at little old me. I should clean off my glasses. Anywho, <laughs> we approach a port in Zanzibar on the last day of this part of the journey. We are on the water boat. But the night before, Yala overheard Celeste Prin talking like jerk, loud enough to wake Yala. But Yala decided that wasn't important enough to get up for. So she went back to sleep. And then we start the next day. <laughs> yeah. Shockingly, people talking does not warrant getting out of bed. No, honestly, it's a mood. <laughs> oh my. Now, if you excuse me, you girl gonna grab a soda. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna grab some soda pop. So dumb. I just realized, where did my lip balm go? It has disappeared. Never to be seen again. Lost. Gone forever. Gone to time. Why, why is it over here? <laughs> so, yeah, that brings us to what? The the final day? Pretty much. I believe this should be the last day of this. Day. The, the... I did that without my notes, so I actually... Uh, want to double check? Give me a sec. If it's the final day, it should be day eight. Yeah, it's day eight. All right. So, as per usual mornings, you're all waking up. Or woken up. Pardon my failure to speak the, the native language of mine. I can say words. No pardon. I guess I'll die! Awesome. Reduce to zero hit points. Make a saving throw. Oh no! The DM's got mad with power! Someone shoot him! If only one of us had a gun on him! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. Roll to zero. Woo! I blew up the nearest star. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Why not the second nearest star? It feels left out. Well, you know, sometimes the next star. the nearest star it gives you a different star than the sun. <laughs> Even though True. the distance is further than the it's sun. Not instantaneously end the world. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, so the morning's pretty normal. What do y'all want to do? best roll to see if you do your best <laughs> that was only half a joke roll for best I cast presentation on Yala not comfortable anymore <sighs> also is shake cutting out for anybody else or is that just a minute oh that's because I wasn't at my Standing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got all that. Sure. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh well. Um. Yeah, no. How about now? Um, <laughs> God, I love when people do that. I I don't know. You said three words. One of them was a contraction. Are you judging my English? 
No. I just yeah. All right, that's I fine. just find it really oh, yeah. funny how every time somebody goes to check their audio, they always say like one or two words. Yeah. Would you like me to quote Hamlet instead? Yes, actually. Well, I didn't read it in high school, so I can't. I well, there's the advent of the internet. There's this great thing called the internet. You can access just about anything for free. It's called, how about no? So we woke up and people are doing things. That's what I'm waiting for. What do you want to do? Nemi's breakfast. Is there leftovers or do you have to cook a whole new breakfast? <laughs> if you think Nim's gonna cook, <laughs> the answer to no. Is there leftovers? Yeah, I'd a man, is there leftovers? Mm. Or wait, didn't Yala cook last I night? I didn't no. make dinner last yeah. night. No. So Nim asked Samson for a fruit. The man's got the fruit. He's the fruit man. The man with the fruit. That sounds like a good idea. And I'll distribute a fruit for everyone. Also, these things are fucking huge, by the way. Yeah. In case you here's, forgot. <laughs> here's your day's rations. Yeah, they're like, they're like giant pomelos. <laughs> what do they taste like? Nim takes a... Okay, does this have a hard outer shell or a soft... I always skin? kind of imagined it like a mango, so take that one as you would. Alright, so I bite okay. into an audible crunch. Followed by snapping and fax noises. <laughs> Why fax noises? <laughs> Why not? I didn't realize you were a defunct. <laughs> no, 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 that's the fruit making the noise. <laughs> Shit's weird on Zanzibar. Yeah, but uh, I'll remove the... I'll put the ration tag and take a bite out of it. Alright. The skin is not edible, but I know that won't stop Samson. <laughs> but we don't know that. <laughs> he didn't tell us. I did not tell your characters, but I said it was mango-like. Yeah? You've never yeah, taken a bite out of a mango? Don't know that. I have never eaten the skin of a mango. I find oh. it generally unpleasant. Well, that doesn't no, mean it's unedible. You just reminded me that I have to eat a mango. It, <laughs> is the skin of a mango edible? Yes. Yeah. Just not to you. <laughs> You're fucking with me. No, I'm seriously. I'm not. We eat it all the time. <sighs> the telltale signs of a Google check. Look at me quack down the trap. <laughs> ah, so you can, but it's unpleasant. Depends I mean, yeah. on how you eat it. I mean, like it's not—it's not like pineapple unpleasant, where it's like poisonous. Okay, I. I mean, I have mangoes in the fridge. I'm half tempted to go take a fucking bite out of one to tell me whether or not you would probably enjoy that or not. But, like... I don't Beggars wanna... can't be choosers. Eat your fruit, children. <laughs> yeah, we've also, we've also, like... I feel like this would not be the worst thing we've eaten while here. No, yeah, it's, it's not. Really I'm really just, like, like having a food. fucking existential crisis right now. <laughs> I, I thought you couldn't eat that leathery garbage. But, like, if you had the Not skin attached that. to the fruit, it'd be so much easier to eat one of those bastards. Instead of holding the... I feel like that's part of, part of the issue with how hard it is to eat the mango, is how you're preparing the mango. Local DM breaks down at mango <laughs> edibility. Tragic. <laughs> I should go eat mango now. Someone play the world's smallest violin quick. Yeah. Already in. It's at a frequency oh, on, that I cannot got be translated over audio. Wow, that violin sounds broken. Yeah, you really need to tune it. Yeah, at this size, it's really fucking hard to tune. I, I try, but it's really tough. Get smaller hands. 
forehead? Just okay. tune it for it. I have biggledy hands. They're biggledy. I cannot cut them in it. half. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> Big B's half pint hands. Small B's hands. Small B's hands of small grabbing. Oh, uh, but yeah, no, you go straight in and take a fucking fat bite out of this mango. And I can't even imagine. It's not, <laughs> I can't even imagine how this would taste. You really put me the at a Sansa loss here. Berry. Yeah, yeah, it's a Sansa Berry. <laughs> no, how is it, Sansa? Make up a flavor. You have full reign on this. My brain's fucking broken. What? We're not even, like, 15 minutes into this shit, and... <laughs> An accidental mango. I'd be half tempted to give you a point of inspiration if you weren't already holding on to one. Ain't bad. Kinda reminds me of that, uh... Honey stuff. From, uh, that Sufren gave us, but, like, not as sickeningly sweet. Would you like it to be? No! <laughs> well, that's right. Samson's never tasted the Zanzibar honey. Why would I? I haven't been poisoned yet. Yet. <laughs> no, that's what the antitoxin is for. It, it's right, just kind of like a food does, stuff you have on you. Does Kella like the flavor, Jade? Uh, she's probably indifferent. Okay. Ooh, Yala? <laughs> Crazy. I assume all you hear is like the crunch of a uh, fruit. Yeah. For a bit. Crunk, 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 crunk. No more to the to the fruit. Nah. All right. Got a nice mouth feel. I don't know what that means. I hate you so much. You suck the energy right out of my soul. I don't know how you manage to do this on a consistent basis. You son of a bitch. I love you, Ed. <laughs> Well, <laughs> no, this awkward moment aside, Ooh. are there any plants nearby? That's what I'll look for. <laughs> you gonna look yeah, for more edible please, arrangements? Please, please. No, please no look not for edible more. arrangements. Sansa berry. No, look for more of those other berries that Samson really, really loves. Don't you have yeah. an advantage on looking for those? Yeah, Samson does. All right, Samson does. Nim don't. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Samson do what Nim don't. Did Fripo die? I think it did. All right. So well, I guess I um, roll a perception. Oh uh, yeah. I thought they were nature checks. Which was it? <laughs> I feel like it'd be perception since I know what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that. It's not so. Yeah, I roll smart. I'm also I gonna are, look. I are good at things. You, <laughs> you, you don't a, see any. A plus. Nim sees some, but they're. Yeah, no, Nim sees some. You find All right, Nim? Nim goes to pick them with mage hands. How many berries does Nim pick? Uh, didn't I say that it would be a... No, goodbye. Oh, no. I'm resetting it. Shade it again. No, I didn't. No. Oh. The bot died. Why oh. does everyone kill me off? Well, be okay, because when people randomly leave a Discord call, guess who the <laughs> likely su suspect is? 
Yeah. I get what happened. I forgot to put it on repeat because it only does it for the queue and it's not a permanent setting because, yeah. Anyway, no, like wasn't it just roll a d20 to s and that number is the number you pick? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's kind of what we've been doing. Yeah. Or you tell me a number, one or the other. Yeah, do that. Roll a d20? Yes. You get eight. Hooray! And how many do I need to pass? Eight. Hundred. <laughs> oh. You need eight hundred Zanzaberry to pass this game. To pass Zanzibar Gate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Do they have gates here? <laughs> Do they? <laughs> it feels like a very non-gate sort of place. It's yeah. a pretty non-gate sort That's of place. That's my personal headcanon. <laughs> it's a pretty non-gate sort of like place. Feels like Lawrence wouldn't get shot half as much if they were gates. <laughs> yeah, look at this ungated community. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's so ungate of you, like, oh my god. Hey, it's what it do. It be do? It be do what it be do. Bad joke aside. I assume we're just moving on. Yeah. Um, is the port almost in sight? Or rather, is the ocean almost in sight? Uh, well, you'd probably see the port before you see the ocean. The ocean's way bigger, though. The ocean is way bigger, but it'll be farther than the port. But it's bigger. And the slope of land. Land slopes towards the sea. Unless it's a sheer face, which this is not. It's a port. So if it oh. slopes towards the sea, that means we'd be up on above it, and we'd most likely get a look at the ocean before we see the port. Since we're not having any important conversation, <laughs> <laughs> can Nim practice summoning two mage hands? I don't. I don't know. Isn't Nim a split brain patient? <laughs> Did I ever say you could? You said I could try to learn to, kind of like what Samson does with his guns. Yeah, sure. Give it a shot. Gotta get me a 20, though. So we're kinda right? Yep. No. The answer's no. The answer <laughs> is no! <laughs> you <laughs> come in half a hand? <laughs> 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 just like, that just like thing. a pinky, <laughs> just a pinky and ring finger show up and just like, <laughs> Nim unsummons it immediately, <laughs> and then never thinks about it again. And that was the end. Oh. For now. What was that sound? <laughs> uh, Jade being a uh, predator. Jade mm. is apparently very good at making noises. I am deeply impressed. Apparently? Jade has many talents. My and soundboard is, is all impressed. All of them are making stupid <laughs> My things. soundboard is impressed. Oh, Christ alive. So if we're not going to talk, can them continue to look for berries? You can continue to look for berries. Is that another perception check? That would indeed. No. The answer is no. <laughs> the answer is in fact no. <laughs> so, do you want to roll perception checks for something other than, um... Berries? Like, your yeah. surroundings? Sure. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Only berries. Only berries! 
Pokella. Pokella is good at perceiving things. Always! Samson is very, very not good at perceiving things most of the time. And the most of the time, this time! He says with an 18. Right? Most of the time. Very well. I could count on one hand the amount of, like, mental base checks I've gotten in the double digits. Uh... Rebel Sama, do you want to roll me perception for the NPCs? No. Yeah. I think you do. Oh, I got a Does that sound like a request? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break my charger one of these days, and then I'll be sad. Just don't break it, forehead. My phone loves to fall on the floor. Well, stop. I can't stop Jerry. Yes, you can. <laughs> wow. Oh. I'm too busy hating the poor. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> can't see peasants, don't you know? <laughs> so, currently, uh, everybody starts looking about, you know, nothing's really going on. Prin is completely despising the fruit in his hand. Just poor fruit in a poor land with poor people. It can't fucking stand it. Hates it all. Actually, uh, if he's scowling, then will change the flavor of it to, like, hydrask meat. Do you say anything? No. No, I don't say anything as I cast the spell. Totally silent. Is there a verbal component? Uh, uh I don't think so. Let me check. Yeah, because if it's just like a somatic component, then... No, there's a verbal component, but Nim doesn't say it very loud. Oh. So, potentially not loud enough to hear. Yeah. He does not realize that this fruit is actually the good tasting. He's just continuing to stare at it. Angrily. You know, flicking his tail against Lily. Eat up, that's all you're gonna get for the day. But anyway, Hyala's the first to notice. You have some sand friends coming back. Friends? Yeah. Okay. Cheese it, it's the Pinkertons! <laughs> yeah, sand friends. And to which you all spot the... Everyone, except Prin, each of the four of you spot uh, your own little... Uh, pile of sand coming towards you. You have friends. I'm gonna name mine Toasty. I'm gonna Toasty. name mine Dead. <laughs> I mean... It's don't a you, pet name. Don't you think that might be confusing with, you know, death? Yeah. And? No, death is death. Dead is dead. You know I'm what? A rogue. I live to confuse. Wait, dead is dead?! Somebody should revivify dead. Nah. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Only reincarnate. It's now a Hydrask. <laughs> yeah, basically. But yeah, no. You come to your... Oh, where's the X button? There it is. So, roll your initiatives. You said friend. These bitches. Yeah, friend. In Zanzibar yeah, could be many yeah. things! Oops. I can't believe you've lied like this. I've gotta do this shit like so many times. Ah, good. Sorry, give me a sec. You asked me in the middle of twisting my hair. No, that's fine. Twist faster. Also, okay, could you done. change mine to the 18 I, 18 I originally got? Oh, yeah. And would you stay in place, please? Absolutely. 18, you said, right? Do we still have the head? We can test it! Oh my god. <laughs> test what? Remember we said we can use the head to scare them off? We need to throw the head on the ground. Scrog to scrog to scrog to... <laughs> I don't know what that oh, god, means. I yes. know. <laughs> I, but Eddie does! That's a story for... Uh, 
That's a glass of milk for another plate of cookies. So that what? means he's never gonna tell us, Jade. Yeah. What oh. are those darker what are you... squares? Uh, dark. <laughs> you don't say, Rebel. I would have never known. Oh, I know. That's why I'm here to help. That's lovely. Where did my glasses go? Oh, here they are. Alright, I'm gonna hit that again because I didn't have a token selected because I'm dumb, but I'm changing it. We like original values in this place. Should have made print roll initiative a disadvantage. Oh well. Oh wait. I mean, he still got a seven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Compared to like the rest of the party. Yeah, we'll call that disadvantage. Anyway. So yeah. Oh god, that means I have to put in the fucking shit for all of them. Sorry, un momento. I forgot that these things have bars. So anyway, you could think and talk over what you want to do, because you're attacking first, so. All right. Is the head an option? <laughs> Is that something we can do? <laughs> is the head an option? It 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 is, but uh, we're gonna have to go and uh, you want to throw this in a descending order? Oh yeah. Um, I wish it would just do that automatically. Yeah. All right. So I will say that I can get two of them at the same time. No, wait, I think I can only... Just Get out of the way! Just cast Fireball on all of us. No! To take care of all of those. <laughs> and same thing you see do. who lives. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Prin should be fine. Uh, Nim will probably die. Oh, uh, absolutely. Lily will be fine. Oh, Lily <laughs> will be the only one that's fine. I... I don't have evasion yet. <laughs> Level us up, you dear. <laughs> <laughs> Cry, bitch. You evade. You cannot evade. You are too low. You require stronger levels, traveler. You cannot evade. <laughs> Give it to me. Yeah, so. Evasion is meant breath. for stronger people. Uh, what were you gonna say? Uh, depending on what Celeste does, I can hit both of them. That's a good point. Um, Mr. Person Controlling Samsoni, since you got so miserably screwed over with your big bad plan last time, would you like to uh, take control of the reins of our Aladrin and potentially set up more combos? Yeah, Nim says don't. Uh, since Nim's close to Celeste, and Nim's like, I got these two in the front. Celeste nods. Prince still staring at his fruit, but he kind of drops and he's like, oh, well, okay, something's happening. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh my, we're being attacked, it seems. Well, I guess I can drop this horrible poor person fruit. Disgusting. It tastes like high quality meat. He has no idea, and that's funny. What a waste of prestidigitation. Um, yeah, see what happens afterwards. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Mr. The Rebel Plague, do you want to, right. uh... Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, there you go. Well then, therefore, right. this is technically, uh, technically your turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, the celestial cast sacred flame on the one closest on the uh, on the left side. On the left side. Oops. This one. <laughs> that one, right? Uh, um, which one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Totally Celeste doing that. I did not have the wrong token on me. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed. All right. So it's gotta make a deck save. Uh, it's got to be to DC 16, right? Yeah. Dex save. Let me see if we got a modifier here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Yes, it does. Uh, run D20, right? Plus the modifier? Yes. Yep. Oh! Does not All make right. it. So then, do the damage for that, and that's an 18. Okay, that is an 18. Chunky. Off to a good start. I don't know how to math, so give me one second. No, uh, it's whatever the number is, minus 18. <laughs> yeah. You know, Prove it. Math. <laughs> Prove it. Yeah, I should have been able to do that. In my head. Prove it. Alright. It's in. Anything else the Aladrin can do? Will probably Damn, don't the don't this bitch got anything for a bonus action? I don't know. The answer is no. God damn. Yeah, I feel like I don't recall her being able to do anything. Alright, so Oh she... yeah, she had to use dash and then move go closer, closer there. Boom. Nailed it. Boom! Alright. <laughs> All right, that is Celeste's turn. Oh, Rady Rooney. Nim cast Fireball in the box I drew when it wasn't my turn. <laughs> um, you know, it's a lot bigger than that, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's a lot. 20 by 20, right? That's 15 by, I think, 20. No, you drew 15 by 25. Point is... That is the wrong the dimension box. in both ways. <laughs> So do you mean like right here? Wait, is it is it a ten by ten thing or is it a twenty by no, twenty? No, it's twenty by twenty foot cube or circle actually, but you can't so, draw circles. So it's like a twenty foot radius. Yeah, I think you can yeah. draw anywhere hexagons. In that, which anywhere is... in that cube is gonna blow the shit out of all of us. Yeah, just cast no, it well, away. I'm... No, the whole point is that it ends at this line. I didn't draw a line. Here. <laughs> so right right here. Right right this this spot. This 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 blind spot. Point is. Yeah, when cast you... fireball away from the party, obviously. As long as I can see the square in which this is happening, I can roll with it. I I am I am seeing it. Even though I was just looking, I took off my glasses for some reason. So I'm, <laughs> I'm continuously pinging it. Ding. Ding. No, I just Ding. need to know how like big to draw the square. <coughs> I start on the center point, and then yeah. Remember, if you hold shift, you'll snap to the grid. Snap back See, to that's convenient. Yep, I'm here for convenience. Samson's gonna be feeling a lot of heat. Not damage, but he's gonna be close to the sun. Yeah, no, he'll, like, be fine. Also, I'm wondering if this is gonna freak Lily out because it's literally an explosion. EXPLOSION! It'll be fine. There's your explosion. Yeah. Boom. That looks a lot bigger than 20 by 20. Which one am I supposed to It's a 20 foot radius. Oh, okay. Which is why I keep pointing it out that it is a 20 foot radius. I apologize. Look, I was listening to my Shay. Point is... Well, there's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> They're in weird locations, okay? For a fireball. Uh, uh, apologies, yeah. <laughs> Apo apologies that they are not uh, in a conducive space for you to nuke them. Which also, I you need to roll two dexterity saving throws. One, 
so I don't forget. I know I just did this. I should remember the modifier, and I do. I'm just being double checking. This is gonna be for the frontmost one, the one at the north. Yep, that makes All it. Right. That, yeah. And that's for half damage, right? Yeah. I'm waiting for both to pop up before. Yeah, no, no, no. I, that's what I'd want you to do. And they both make it. So half twenty-seven. Uh, damage is rounded up or down? Thirteen. It's down. Okay, rounded down. So that's thirteen. Okay, so they're both going to take half damage. I need to math. Uh, it also sounds like it's going to be a thunderstorm in my area soon. So if you hear thunder, I'm not Ooh. sorry. Pop, pop. Why can't you control the weather, Shay? Yeah, yeah weather. I thought you were a wild yeah. magic sorceress. What the fuck is this shit? Man, you're not eating enough of your Zanzibaris. You can't control the weather. Nim hasn't eaten that one at all. Kiala did, and Samson ate too. Of all the characters I would trust with the weather, neither of those two <laughs> are on that list. Yeah, Shala would just make everything really cold, <laughs> and Samson just, would just make everything really- her fingers and a blanket of snow falls from the sky and just coats everything. I just- oh. Oh, that's a shame, Jade. You wouldn't get this reference. Eddie! Uh, Samson would make it cloudy with a chance of heat falling. Well, I was just thinking if both hit, if both Samson and Hyala had access to weather control, would it not just <laughs> evolve into a, a Groudon and Kyogre scenario? Honestly, I just <laughs> it really just would. I was thinking something completely different. Oh, by all means, lay it on me. Mr. Heat, my God. Have you finished rolling their uh, snow? Yeah. yeah, no, I, I finished. Game, okay. I'm Mrs. Snow Miser. I'm Mr. Cold. Yeah. 30 damage each. I calculated it. It's in. Is there anything else you can do on your turn? Um, considering I'm surrounded on all four sides, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, that, it's not a flat plane. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like an upside down parabola. Yeah, you could move into any one of like these. No, spaces. I was gonna use uh, what you call it, the hydro flask, but. Right. This is a straight line. Your left and your right are lower than your front and your back. Oh my god, you should blast the head at it with the, uh, <laughs> with the decanter! Can I do that? Yeah, it says it can push objects up to like 50 feet. <laughs> yeah, I want to push the head into the sand crack. <laughs> uh, would this even do damage? You probably uh, freak it the hell out. <laughs> As to make that would be... to not be frightened by the yeah. Wouldn't that be friend. wouldn't that be a intimidation contest? Um. Yeah, I guess. So it's what would super be... soaking a decapitated head <laughs> for shock value? And so what would I roll to contest that? I, I, if we go with the, we're going to super soak. I mean, Scrog if you, too. If if you want it to, um, if it's a uh, throw against being frightened, then most likely be wisdom. Um, D twenty. Well, um, does Nim have to actually roll anything to do this, or is it just like a free action? I think it just happens. Well, it'd no, just be a bonus. bonus. Well, it'd be a bonus action, right? Because of the decanter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you would decide how freaked out this thing would be. Yeah. It's not gonna be like a check to see if she actually even hits the object? Cause I see no, it remember... just hits the object. Oh, okay. 
I, I, it's an object. It can't make a saving throw. No, it can't, but I thought there was a DC for No, that was to... Uh, if you want to hit a creature with it. Yeah, and I'm already hitting an... I'm hitting an object instead of a creature. And the object is literally right next to her. Yeah. And dead as hell. You yeah. Can, there's only many other things that can be as dead as that thing. Yeah. yeah, if you click on the decanter thing, it'll give you the details. That's not the right click. Where's the click? I, it's not that I don't believe you. I, I just have this itching feeling. Like, I remember it saying something about... Where the fuck is it? It's in my uh, cantrips. So then use it. One of you, please click it. There you go. That's I was looking for it. Yeah. That you, that an object that is not being worn or carried and that weighs no more than two hundred pounds, the object is either knocked over or pushed up to fifteen feet. Oh, okay. I, it did write in the object, but it didn't say for a check for moving it. All right. Better safe than sorry. I always say. Anyway, so what do you say? It'd be a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, uh, against whatever DC you think it would be. Well, these aren't exactly timid creatures, so I don't think it's either. I don't think it's going to be a disadvantage or advantage. I think it's just going to be a neutral. Okay. Yeah, they, these things spend their lives killing shit. Um, uh, put in the wisdom. Do so they become modifier. frightened? Uh, they don't have an immunity to it. And so they're just as bitch made as everything. They're <laughs> <laughs> just as bitch made as everything else. If it is not immune to fright, it is bitch. <laughs> it's terrifying! Oh, that, it's thing is, <laughs> that thing is the most bitch-made sand skinner of all time. So the question is, is it just frightened of Nim, or is it frightened of, like, the entire party atop this? It is frightened- it is not smart enough to tell the difference between a dead head and the forces that moved it. So it, it just see- it, it just basically perceives a, a dead head of what it roughly- of what you would imagine it would know to be one of its own. And Something Billy, is that you? And, and Mom? In, in, a, a, in an act of reasonable shock to what you might expect, this thing literally leaps up out of the ground like a startled cat and just moves back ten feet away. Just like... <laughs> And then he can't Whippering. get closer than that because he's frightened. Yeah. I didn't say he was frightened. I was just saying he was startled. Oh. Well, wasn't this a roll to see if it gets frightened? I, I guess. So then it's frightened? <laughs> I guess. that I didn't really understand that to be the case, but... I, I, sure, whatever. I, I don't know. Uh, that, that was the question I asked. And <laughs> that is the role you based it off of. True. True. So, yeah, you did that. That was sick. <laughs> Just Lord of the Flies, this stupid <laughs> bitch. Uh, I'm gonna say that... Well, it's afraid of the head, so it's not gonna move closer to the head. Uh, you should mark where the head landed. That's what I'm working on. Cool. I wish the fill in color was the first block. There it is. Cool. The thing. The thing. The thing. The thing. Jane feel me so dope. Oh, right. Sam Saruni. It's Put it on my tab. You want tab? I don't want tab. <laughs> Shut Does up. any of the party say anything to what Nim just did? That was morbid. Good job. <laughs> Nim gives a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, what the hell is wrong with these people? <laughs> I don't know, but Samson, it's your turn then. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! 
All right. Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna do some stick gun stuff. I am going to, with my right hand, blast the one right over here, Whoa. and try to uh, blast the one over here with my other gun. Whoa! <laughs> All right. All right. It's if you uh, hit an 18 or higher, right? Yeah. For what you're trying to do? Okay. Yeah. So, uh... And if it doesn't hit an 18, you miss? I don't remember. I'm not trying uh, no, to inject it, new rules. It just No, it, it's just that it hits, but I could have done better. Right. It, it only counts for the total of 10 if they hit 18s? Agreed. Yes. Both of them? Or just one? Just the, hit, just the second one. Okay. Just the second one. All right. At least I think so. Because the regular one's just the regular one, like this. Whoop pow Regular That's one is just hit. a regular one. Uh, yeah. it does in fact hit. Yes. 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 I'm gonna roll the damage. Right. Right. And the other one. Whoop it. Wait. Give me a second to calculate. It. Hold on. Give me a second to calculate. Uh, the first one. Oh, wait. Okay, there's a little black dot there where there shouldn't be a little black dot, but that's okay. A little black dot. Because I should be able to erase this layer, hopefully. That's done. Uh... And then now for the other one. Just an 18 hit? An 18 does hit, and you met your it's value. 18. Yeah. So oh, I don't remember how many channel. it was that you... Uh, two we're at. We're at two? Oh, mm -hmm. you're getting there slowly but surely. And we got that. So this was the first target, and this was the second target. Which one was the second target? No, uh, this one. Good, because that's the one I started doing the numbers for. And I couldn't remember initially what you said, so I got panicked for a second. I don't want to reverse math. All right, there you go. Uh, anything else? Um. <clears throat> I am going to stay on top of... Uh, Lily for the most part, because we agree that that second shot takes my bonus action, right? Uh, I believe so. This is why we should right. probably write that down. If only to expedite the process. I mean, if that's what we'll agree upon, we'll remember it. But yeah, anyway, uh, that's what I do. Uh, bang, bang. Yeah, and when you hit all ten, then is it that you just get two actions? Uh, it's basically I just get to do the first one twice. Uh, yeah, it, you just use one because you're not technically clicking another. You you get two attacks when you use your room. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming back to me. Definitely All should start writing that down as an actual custom spell. No, I'm sorry. Homebrew. I mean, it'd just be a feat, probably. It, but yeah, anyway. feat, whatever. Uh, mm. Alright. That's the end of your turn, or is there something else you could do? That's the end of my turn. And that's the end of his turn! I think staying clustered up here is uh, pretty much the, the best sign. Maybe. Maybe. Um, so, yeah. It comes to Hyala! Yay! Yay for Hyala! Alright, so... <laughs> so, da -da -da. so, da -da -da. I was gonna put the thing and then I, I lost it. Yeah, so cool. this thing first, because I like extra damage. Oh, and then I'm a, I'm a, shoot this dude, twice, with with the bow. Shoot twice with the bow. Uh, 
first shot does not hit. That's annoying. I am sorry it does not hit. <laughs> Survey says <laughs> no hit. Survey says wow. no hit. Distracted this morning. So you knock two arrows, you take aim, you're ready to do some damage, and they hit into the sand next to the creature. Not your finest archery moment. Perhaps not your worst, but certainly not your finest. Is there anything else Yala can do? Nope. Wait, and... did, we, did we ever uh, figure out how much uh, their armor class was? I don't remember telling you, and I don't remember you piecing it together, but since you're still fighting them, I would say uh, you probably still have to piece that together. Uh, the same reason why I did not divulge that information with the Zorn. I will give uh, Hyala, using Bending Luck, a bonus to her attack of a d4. To which arrow? Either. <laughs> Roll the same. You, you know what? Yeah, a bit of a dumb question. So that brings it up. That's added to the 13? Yeah. yeah. That brings it up to a 15. That, in fact, does now hit. <laughs> Yay. Poggy. Poggy. <laughs> this a roll me damage. I guess on either one it doesn't matter. Cool, cool. This not then, uh, roll. How much is it? Six. Oh. And then something I realized I forgot is I I have a plus one bonus on attack rolls for ranged attacks. So that plus one. Okay. So six plus four plus one. Mhm. Mm All right. So that's eleven. Yeah. So, because both arrows came in shallow, you figured it would have missed, but you notice that you, in fact, did hit. You went right through its front paw. So, not the greatest of feelings, but certainly its initial non-moving made you thought you miss. But, in fact, you did hit. Yeah. For 11 damage, which... I'm going to double check my math. Even though I should be right. Yep, I'm right. I have no confidence in my mathematics if you can't tell. So that is the end of your turn. And we come to Prince. Who, if my memory serves, his Previous encounter. Oh, don't worry, Ed. I can do this. Th this Are you one. Sure? Yeah. Okie dokie. I I'll take over, Prin. So, since his last encounter went so swimmingly, and literally, Prin is in fact Prin. He will <laughs> believe. He will believe himself not needing to take precautions against these creatures, and by tempting fate, he will jump off to the nearest one and he's gonna unleash that signature flurry of longsword attacks oh no nim's human she i mean nim's friend <laughs> nim's she's, human she's not shield. a human shield he's a salamander shield <laughs> the salamander a shield the, the spicy salamander shield, shield. <laughs> so it's two one-handed and then an off-handed one right eddie uh, yes. Okay. So we're gonna roll this. We're gonna roll that. And then we're gonna roll the offhanded, and we're gonna go through these one by one. <laughs> so we already know that that offhanded one will, in fact, miss, but we'll play that out. Um, so his first attack does, in fact, miss. He, he goes to swing. This one's a little more agile. Without moving too much, it kind of just strafes down and low and looking annoyed he just brings his other long sword down 
on top of the creature for a solid 11 hit. Which I'm going to calculate now before I lose track. Which I know kind of interrupts things, but I'm not mad smart. But I do like this game. So that brings it down to that number. And, of course, as per atypical, these also have their crackling body. Crackalacking. Takes 1d6. Yeah, snap, crackle, and pop. So this one had a little more oomph than it had before. And you, you see Prin kind of jolt a little, but he doesn't say anything. But in his head, he's like, what was that? Because that is the first time he genuinely ever actually got hit with that. For you like know, a, any number or any decent number Any damage. like above one or two damage. that and then that becomes that so he became a surprise but becomes annoyed at the resistance and goes for his offhand which the cre the cackler having actually been hit kind of dodges a little out of the way not moving it's within five feet but his sword just hits into the ground and that being should be being everything Prin can do because that was yeah. action and bonus action. We come to the sand cacklers. Yay. Cacklers. I keep calling them cacklers. I don't know why. There's just something about them that makes me think they're like hyenas. Which is strange because I worked on these. So you'd think the opposite. So yeah. we're going to go with the one that's, of course, right in front of Prim. And it's going to go right to just try and bite him. Because how dare a strange red lizard uh, do a thing. Ha. And that, in fact, hits. He get bit. He get bit. Then that gets 10 piercing damage. So you just see this thing, like, lunge into print and just takes a hard bite. And he just lets out a fairly angry grunt. Because it's sharp. You see it go in. Some of the metal plates buckle a little. You should look pretty much around where the gold is. But, yeah, no. Those teeth are slipping into places where the armor doesn't cover. So, he's got his shoulder hit. And the beast releases him and kind of positions around a little. Uh, question. Does moving around a target without disengaging proc attacks of opportunity? Nope. Nope. So uh, then... You are free to move in any area... Like, around. Five in a target. Within its range, Bless rather. You. Bless you. Within the target's range. So five yeah. to ten feet, depending. Yeah, so like if they these things had, um... Uh, what's its name? Uh, the, like, the attack range benefit? Then it would be, like, ten feet. Oh, it's not Prince. Yeah, no. Um, if... If... If you move out of its range, it gets a pro um, an attack of opportunity. If it moves out of your range, you get the attack of opportunity. Right. And that is, again, only with melee weapons. Ah, okay. So, only so. with melee. So we'll call even, five feet safe, definitely, because yeah. just about everything can hit five feet. E so it's going to uh, reposition down there. And even with people like uh, Hyala and me, who don't get disadvantage for attacking close quarters with a ranged weapon, we don't get attacks of opportunity a lot of the time. Right. Um, just getting some measurements here, don't mind me. They're all going out 
Uh, as you well, imagine, this one, this one can't, this one can't get closer. Oh, but yeah. it can certainly go this way. Well, it would still be too close. Yeah, no. So you, it, it would have to go the long way. <laughs> yeah. Well, it can't get with it in ten feet, so it could move up to this line and then move over. Yeah, so it would have to move up to this line. Uh, how do you do that? Control and then continue thing? Uh, you right click. Uh... Honestly, despite the line, yeah, so like whether I did be... the click or not, it would still be to there. That would be the reach. Yeah. It, so it even could if I be just like over here, so that'd be fine. Yeah. But then once it's here, it can't get within twenty, like less than twenty <laughs> feet away from it. Yeah. You could even move over there. I mean, you can just do it, like, straight through.